Hey guys, I'm going to show you how you can take the um, a PNG or a JPG and then convert it to an SVG to utilize as a cut file in Cricut Design Space. So on my screen, I have my blank canvas and I have an image of the TikTok logo. This is just going to help me with making sure I have my colors um, in the right place. So I'm going to leave that on my screen for right now. So the first thing you want to do is to, you want to make sure that you have the image somewhere on your computer. So I'm going to go and I'm going to locate the image and browse. I'm just going to locate the image and there it is. So you can see this is a PNG and I'm going to hit open and I'm going to select complex for this project and then continue. Now on the right hand side, you have a zoom in feature. So we're going to click on the little plus sign to increase the size so we can see it better. And then we're going to leave the aqua color, but we're going to remove the red and the black because what we have to do is we have to bring this image into Cricut Design Space, however many colors you have. So we're going to do this process three different times so that we can bring the image in for the aqua bring the image in for the black and then bring the image in for the red. So we'll have three separate colors. Okay. So what you're going to do is just click in the area where you have the red and the black, just click it because you have this little crosshair and that crosshair is actually um, removing whatever colors you click on. So we're left with our aqua color. We're now going to go to the eraser, which is right uh, to the right of your crop functionality. And so we're going to select the eraser and you can either decrease or increase the size of the eraser here just by dragging that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this little outline here that's not aqua. I'm going to erase that. Now you can get really detailed guys with this and you can spend a lot of time trying to go in and get that black out. I'm not going to do that. I don't think it's going to be a deal breaker um, here because you won't be able to see it anyway once that black layer is placed in. So I'm just going to do the red only. And there's a little hair I'm going to grab right there. If you make a mistake, you do have the undo functionality here. So you can just click on undo and it will place whatever you messed up on. It'll place it back. So at this point, <coughs> I'm going to click on continue. And normally with the print and cut, you would select the left hand side, but this time we're going to select the right hand side. And then it is best to name your image. So I'm just going to call this TikTok logo one. And then I'm going to select save. All right, it's going to bring it into your uploaded images. So we're going to select that and then insert images. And now we have our aqua. So we're just going to go here to our colors and select advanced. We're going to try to get as close to the aqua color as close to that as possible. Let's click up in there. I think that's pretty good. All right. So I did um, slip up and I have a little black in here. I'm just going to slice it. So I'm just going to put a little circle right there so that I don't have to go back in and redo it all over again. I'm just going to put a little, and if you end up doing this, you can do the same thing. But if you didn't, then you're fine. I'm just going to put a little circle over that little black dot and then group this together by highlighting them. And then in the bottom right corner, I'm going to select slice. And then I can move this over and delete. <clears throat> so that got rid of that little black piece that I had in there. All right, so once you do that, I would not change the sizing or anything because if you do, you have to change the sizing for the other um, layers. So I'm gonna leave this just like it is. And then I'm gonna go back and do the process two more times. So upload image, browse. I'm going to locate my image on my computer and then open it. 
Again, I'm going to select complex, continue in the bottom right corner, and then zoom in in the top right on your plus sign. And this time we're going to deselect the aqua and the red. We're just going to be working with the black right now. Okay, so that looks good. We're going to go ahead and hit continue. You're going to select save as a cut image on the right. And then again, it's always best to name your image. So we're going to say TikTok 2 and save. All right, so now I'm going to select upload and insert image. Now I have my black layer. So your black layer would go in just like that. Or just like that. All right, so now we're going to go back and get this kind of reddish color. So you're going to walk through the process one more time. Again, guys, however many layers you have, you're going to have to do this process that many times. So less is better. You know, I know we like to have a lot of colors and we get tired of working with t-shirt transfer paper and uh, printable vinyl and sticker paper. So here's a way you can use the HTV on a JPG or PNG by basically converting it over to SVG functionality and Cricut Design Space. But however many colors, which are your layers, you're going to have to do this process that many times. Okay. All right, so again, I'm going to select complex and continue. And again, zoom in. And this time we're going to place the crosshair on our aqua, our black. And we're going to leave the red. And again, we're going to go to the eraser on the left hand side because we need to clean up this aqua color because we only want the red now. Again, if you make a mistake, it's fine. Just use your undo button on the right side. All righty. <clears throat> Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue. And select save as a cut image. Name your image. This one is going to be TikTok 3. And save. I'm going to go ahead and select it to upload and insert image. So now we are going to select advance for our color and see if we can get closer to that kind of reddish, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. That kind of looks like it. So we're going to leave it there. And you want to make sure you place that color wherever it goes, which I think is here. And just like that. All right, so that's as close as I think I'm going to be able to get it. This was just used for demonstrative purposes, so I'm just going to um, put the eye on that to get it out of the way. And then at this point, guys, it's just a matter of um, just selecting make it or resizing it to whatever size you want it to be. And so you have your black layer, you have your aqua layer, and then you have your kind of pinkish, uh, reddish kind of color um, layer. And so at this point, you are wanting, if you're using HTV, which in most cases, that's the reason you want it to be able to work with layers because you want it different colors, then you want to make sure that you select mirror for each one of your colors. You want to select mirror. All right. So that is how you go in, guys, and you um, create an SVG from a JPG or PNG and then convert it over to working with layers. Again, however many colors you have in that image will be how many times you have to walk through that process so that you can get each one of those colors in there. If you wanted to make this uh, TikTok logo a different color, 
it's great. You can do that. It doesn't matter what colors you have here on your screen. It only matters what color vinyl you're placing into your cutting machine. So that's it. The only thing you would do now, guys, is just click on continue. And when you click on continue, you want to actually say what type of material you're cutting. So if you're cutting vinyl, then you select vinyl. If you're doing the glitter vinyl, you want to select glitter vinyl. I know some people don't use the glitter vinyl material setting. Me personally, I use cardstock, heavy cardstock. It seems to work better for me. You can select whichever material cuts better for you on the glitter vinyl, okay, or the glitter um, HTV. All right, guys, so that is it. Um, I just wanted to show that to you. If you have any questions, concerns about what you've seen here today, please feel free and reaching out, always available to help you. And I am Doris with Ken Doris's Cricut and Creative Crafters. That's the Facebook group. I'm also on YouTube under Doris Edwards. So please join the group. You can also sign up on my YouTube channel and I love to have you. As always, each one reach one so that each one can teach one. Have a great day, guys.